Yeah, yeah. They, they're kind of interesting. We played it once before. Yeah, regular mode. It was like regular mode. mode and stuff. Yeah. You know, something that was still. Hey, David. What, what? You're on the internet. Oh, yeah, right. oh, boy. Hello, welcome to Family RPG. We're using uh, this camera only. Oh, oh, I know. Yeah, yeah. Well, then, I guess it's one of two, but. Yeah, hi. <laughs> hi. Um, and we're playing Super Fight. And we got a couple of decks from. Um, Yeah, yeah. So there are a couple of special decks, including this dungeon mode mm -hmm. and the fortress mode, that make a uh, regular game of Super Fight um, more unique. I thought the fortress one was fortress one was a little too complicated for a beginning game. We also reoriented the table because we need a wider area, and the camera obviously it shows wider than it does shows long. So that's space wasted. So in order to play with dungeon mode, the cover may look a little familiar. Let's want to get D and D kind yep. of. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, uh, select one player to be the judge. Everyone else creates a character using regular super fight rules. So you'd have three white cards and three black cards. Okay. And you'd use one of each in order to make your character. But you can use them for any of the decks. I'd probably recommend the sword and sorcery deck because that's actually D and D like stuff oh. in that deck. So you had a great D and D character, or you can use any of the other decks except for the blue and purple, but and the yellow. All of these are like situations and side decks, but everything else. Something not green either. Green does yes. You can use the green. Green is like family friendly. Oh. There's also an R red rated deck. Do we want to use this or not? We yeah. just that deck. I mean, if you want to use that, you want to mix. Well, them all. is this characters or both? They're both. Do we need to get you guys just a? 10,000 card box for this? <laughs> uh, I think they sell one. I don't think you want to mix them. Oh, okay. Well, you kind of have and to. They all, yeah, I mean, well, they all do mix like, like in the we end. We have cards against humanity, the bigger back or blacker uh -huh. box. Yeah. yeah. But we're not I mean, going to play that on this You can make multiple stacks. Channel. I mean, we're going to have multiple stacks of these uh, cards uh -huh. anyways to work with. Yeah, so we don't yeah but as soon as they go into a discard pile. It doesn't matter. Yeah. They, they, they all have the same kind of colored backs, so they have yeah. like different colored fronts based on what um, deck they're from. So once we recombine them, we can well, recombine them. Okay, purple and blue go in that box. You know the right, but yeah. the black and white cards here. Yeah, the purple and blue are basically the uh, locations no, and white. situations. We don't use those. Or are some of these? You want to. orange yeah. and other because they're from different decks. You've already Just mixed them. Shuffle yes. up the black yeah. packed card. Aha. Uh -huh. It's. This looks Same just like Cards stuff. Against Humanity in the concept. You just keep adding cards yeah. to your massive <coughs> collection. Yes. But well, yeah, but if you want to so, yeah. play with dungeon type characters, you'd want to keep those separate. Meh. Yeah. Eh. Meh. I want Wonder Woman in mine. All right. Anyways. Anyways. So, uh, you take three black cards and three white. All right. One. Are you judging the first round? I yeah, guess? I'll judge the first okay. round. Yeah. One, okay. one two, two. Two. I want to mix up. Pick one of each and make that. that your character. Because there's going to be some right. good white cards and there's going to be some bad ones. Good white black cards and black bad ones. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. I want to make this combination because I find it amusing. So it's one white, one black. Yes. Discard the rest and then... We can choose black? to do that, or you can, if you'd like to hold on to them, you or may want to use them later. Just pull up to, th to one to three gotcha. of each. Okay. Yeah. One. But if you know you're not going to use okay. the other cards, mm. then. Yes, I would totally card. use these because I love it. Yes. So, this group of characters is a party of adventurers exploring a dungeon. Before each mm. round, you flip over a new dungeon card. This is the room your party has just entered. Each player argues about why their character would survive in the room of this dungeon. After arguing, the judge decides which player dies in this room. The character is dead. The player becomes an additional judge for the rest of the dungeon. Now the group draws a new dungeon card and continues exploring. This continues until one adventurer is left alive. That player gets a point and becomes the next judge for the next dungeon. Everyone else creates a new character and ventures into a new dungeon. <coughs> so, the first room of your dungeon is... Point dice. This room is packed shoulder to shoulder with 1,000 undead the dudes. The dudes. <laughs> the dude abides. <laughs> okay. Well, he's undead, so alright. He's undead. He abides. Mm -hmm. hmm. 
So we put ours down and it's a random black card? Uh, one of each. You chose okay. one white and one black. That was your character. And now you're, you're supposed to decide um, how your character would survive. We're not adding anything, we're not adding anything extra. No, we're not adding oh, anything. No, okay. no. Okay. 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 I have Samwise Ganji. Armed with a sword twice their height. So a sword. <laughs> I have me. Armed with a golden gun. <laughs> <laughs> I have an adventure party made up of a fighter, a murder hobo, and a warg. <laughs> what? <laughs> <coughs> I said adventure party. I yeah. Yeah. Party. yeah, yeah, you got it. You got, you got I, the right card. And I, I, they can ask a e giant eagle to clean up the mess at any time. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know who's dying now. Well, I'm going to argue I'm a good shot. <laughs> <laughs> Sam White's dead. I know. <laughs> okay. We're, okay we're so you're fine. an additional judge. Yeah. Yes. And I guess that's our discard? Everything else gets discarded. I mean, try to keep the dungeon cards okay. separate, because obviously those get, don't get mixed in. Okay. <coughs> so what are the dice Why don't you put those <coughs> up To check our points. Once, once we once? get down yeah. to one player. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh. So now David and I are both judges. Mm -hmm. Oh, both judges. So next room. A okay. litter box of a giant territorial oh, we put a new character you card. You make up a new character. Make Sherlock new Holmes. Do they keep the same character previously? They keep the same character. Oh, same okay. character. You oh. keep the same character. The survivors keep the same sense. character okay. and, and All argue right. for theirs. All right. So well, as you know, in N64, <laughs> a golden gun to one shot kill. What was the task again? The litter box of a giant territorial Sherlock Holmes. Okay. Ah, I have a, a giant eagle to clean up a mess. <laughs> and three guys to call him on. Mm. It's true, he's got the numbers. But I'm going to shoot from a distance. Mm. But the giant yeah. eagle can just fly in. Take well, care. he's just cleaning up afterwards, though. Oh, true. That's true. All the three other ones are all close range. But then again, mm. does Sherlock have a gun? Probably doesn't have a gun. I'm not. It also depends on which Sherlock. He shot that one guy. Didn't he is giant, territorial, and assuming he acts like Sherlock Holmes, very intelligent, crafty, cunning. Hmm. Hmm. I vote for him. The winner. Or yeah, I have, you're go, still I have to go with the numbers. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. So, so, so Dad, you get one. One point. One point. One. One point. Oh mm -hmm. boy. Okay. And now you're the judge. Oh boy. So enjoy that. Yep. Maybe. So I'll pick <laughs> my character. Okay. December 22nd, 2017. That's fine. Okay. Just candy. I think it'll be well, I mean, they're they're cookies. Cookies. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'm going to discard these sets. So I'm going to want new cards. I'm not going to use either one of those. You want new cards? Um, when I draw up for the draw. next character, oh. I'm not, not going to reuse those. You don't want something I, wearing a meat bikini? Mm, no. <laughs> no. You're not playing Lady Gaga. Hmm. So okay. Oops. Okay. Okay. Put out your. All right. Um. Dungeon. Yeah, okay. Oh, the dungeon. Okay. Right there. That's the dungeon. Mm -hmm. All right. Goblin bomb factory. That's the dungeon. Well, I chose the wrong one. Oh well. <laughs> okay. So that's how we're gonna. What we gotta battle with. Okay. I'm the witch king with three pet dragons. Hmm. I am Pyromancer that shoots magic missiles, so I do not miss. Uh -huh. I am um, pick a celebrity, so I pick Chuck Norris, and I can hold my breath forever. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Bomb, 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 Who died? I can fly away on my dragons. I'm not going to explode the bombs. <laughs> I'm Chuck Norris. Uh huh. Yeah, but you're also. I mean, you're melee. I mean. <laughs> yes. Uh, you Norris, but yeah, all right. Yeah. yeah. 
Sorry, celebrities, you know, they, they only go so far. Uh -huh. You didn't go far enough. Okay. You should have picked Sylvester. Uh, Alright, All right. so we pick another. Uh, next one. Next one. I'm going to read that one. You're the a necromancer's laboratory guarded by an abomination constructed from the corpses of Stegosaurus, Boy Scout, and my significant other. <laughs> so, Kathy? Uh huh. Oh. His wife. No, well. That would be your significant other. Corpse design. <laughs> we do need to name names. Oh. Uh huh. All right. Just stay secret. Hmm. Okay, Fascinating. Well, let's see. Wow. Um, three, three dragons. Yeah, three parts, and I got three dragons. Ooh. Yeah. Three dragons. But the necromancer is still. It doesn't say the necromancer is there. Oh. It just says. It's guarded by an abomination constructed from these corpses. Oh, it's one abomination constructed. Yes. One abomination. Oh, my goodness. Uh, hmm. Well, what do you think? I don't know. Torn. The Witch King, three dragons. Or, Pyromancer. The Pyromancer. Pyromancer. Pyromancer wins? Yeah. Yeah, I'd say so, too. Okay. Those magic missiles are yeah. good okay, stuff. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Three again. Okay. And I get three. All right. Get a stack of those cards. Hmm? Oh, these. Ah, he's still. Yeah, there you go. We'll just. There we go. Now it now works. Okay. Mm. An ancient wizard bestows a blessing onto the most worthy. Judges decide who that is. The chosen player draws and plays a random attribute. Hmm. A gelatinous cube. It's having a really bad hair day. <clears throat> a hill giant knows how to cast fireball. A T-Rex that controls all animals. Hmm. Most worthy, I'm going with the Hell Giant. Ah. So you get another card. Okay, let's see. I get a and, one. And the cube uh, dies. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> the gelatinous cube okay. dies. Another, um... Are you supposed to get another attribute? Yeah. yeah. You'll play the yeah. attribute. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. For that card. Yes. So put no, put the attribute with it. Oh, the attribute yeah. with, on you, with on you. me. Oh, on, on me. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Wearing a legendary suit of armor. Uh -huh. Cool. So now he's a really strong hill giant. A large pool with a single gigantic shark swimming in it. I this control no animals. Argument. <laughs> okay. All right, I get a point. Uh, all right. All right. So you won again. I mean, so back to being judge. Yes. He be judge. Uh -huh. GBGs. Indeed. So we gotta pick another set? Yes. Create uh, a new character. New characters. I'm gonna pick. I should probably wait to reveal the room until you've chosen yeah, your character. Kind of, yeah. Oh, well. Uh, okay. Wait wait <laughs> oh, okay, here we go. I'm a honey badger. I'm Three a feet samurai tall. with a legendary Story sword. Story that makes sense. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. I'm a hipster. Armed with a bag of holding. Ah. The room break. is a room full of ghosts that try to possess the adventurers and make them kill each other. Hmm. 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 I'm gonna hide in my bag for ten minutes while they do get out. <laughs> you say Saruman, Saruman can <laughs> kill a honey badger for sure. Oh, it's ten feet tall. It's three stories. Eight, right, three stories tall. Like Iron with a legendary sword. Okay, a legendary sword. And yeah. it is Saruman. Yeah. Yeah, but he's not proficient with swords. <laughs> what? <laughs> he's got an <coughs> eye, though. He can still cast he's spells. Quite the well, eye. Yeah, but he's not doing that, though. He's, he's armed with a sword. He's uh, it doesn't say it doesn't it's, a legendary it's the only sword. thing he does. 
How do you measure dies? <laughs> <laughs> the hipster who hides lives. Okay. <laughs> Next room. Okay. A long hallway and a rolling boulder. Ooh. <laughs> I have to go to the hipster. <laughs> Why the hipster? Because a rolling boulder, it could probably be picked up by the bag I'm holding. <laughs> anyway. It has a limit as to how big it can go. That's true. Yeah. 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 I got this one. I found the legendary quality of the sword. That could Slice. be. Slice. Slice uh, Yeah. The hipster liked rolling stones before they were cool. <laughs> I figured out some way to work that in there. <laughs> fun, fun, fun. What do you think, Jeff? The legendary, legendary sword can cleave. I mean, obviously, if a Sauron can kill a three-story yeah. honey badger, yeah. a boulder shouldn't be much of an issue. At least if he has time to react to it. So mm -hmm. I would go with Sauron. Surviving. Yeah, Sauron. Okay. Yeah, I didn't expect hipster to do anything. All right. So why that so long? Here. All right. So three whites over mm -hmm. here. Except it's a hand of a joke. My character. Yes, your character. A rock Golem made of guacamole. <laughs> oh, a room. Hannibal, uh -huh. and he shoots webs. Shoots webs. Martha Stewart. <laughs> Can't control your opponents at right hand. Right hand. Uh. Yeah. Okay, a room full of cups. Drinking from the wrong one will kill you. Finding the right one is the way to, only way to move on. Hmm. She controls one of yours right hand to lift him up and drink it. Let's see. Rock crawling. Well, I'm going to say Hannibal is, is dead because she made him drink the wrong one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. And let's see. Here we go. Next dungeon? Next dungeon. Alright. I survived a round, yay! A passageway with a ceiling full of holes. Goblins dump boiling oil on anyone that walks under them. Well, that's just cooked guacamole. I mean, yeah. It doesn't taste <laughs> good, but it's fine. <laughs> yeah, Martha but Stewart got boiled. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry, but that's, uh, yeah. I can control the, the goblin's hand and stop him from The rock golem is going to survive. You can't okay. see them from Even if it's guacamole. Okay. All right. Okay. I need to replenish this so I don't forget. And then let's see. Hmm. Okay. Let me know when you're ready. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Red Sonia leading an army of brainwashed Coltons. Oh, that's a good good choice there. An archdemon. That shoots glitter. <laughs> that stuff that's everywhere. Mm. Okay. Um, Star Lord floating down on a parachute. Alright. Mm. The ceremony room of a bloodthirsty cult looking for a sacrifice. Ooh. Now, they're not going to sacrifice the Archdemon, <coughs> but clearly it's who they're summoning. Brainwashed cults. She's <coughs> the cultists, so I'm sorry, Mr. Quinn. He's dead. <laughs> <laughs> okay. R2. Treasure chamber. Each adventurer draws and plays a new attribute. No one dies in this room. I do. Armed with a shrink ray. Wielding a heavy sack of gold. 
Wow, if only I survived one more room. <laughs> a tightrope leading through a sharknado across a bottomless castle. Tightrope. Well... Hmm... <laughs> Make your case. I'm not looking so good. <laughs> <laughs> I presume an urban demon will be able to fly. So... I think that's a pretty good case. Yeah. 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 I think he's got... Yeah, he also army of sharks. cultists. Yeah. Yeah, he's he's dead. not going to make it. Yeah. yeah. They're dead. Yeah. I get a point, finally! Yay! All right. Okay. Let's sit outside. Let's make some people. Yeah. Okay. So right here. One more. Okay. Mine's going to be a weird one. All right. Let oh. me see. Well, you're not making. Oh, who? Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, you I'm won. The, I won you're that the one. one. You're the. Yeah, you're so the. So I'm gonna be the judge this time. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Oh, well, I guess I'll make that weird one next time then. All right. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. All right. Um. I really want to save that. So let's. That. Hmm. <coughs> A necromancer armed with iocane powder. Ooh! <laughs> yeah. Godzilla, who can turn into any vehicle. <coughs> oh. hmm. uh, Who's an Autobot? But Godzilla. Got Godzilla, though. Mm. You say, uh, here, pick a TV character. Um, Roseanne! <coughs> the Doctor. <laughs> yeah, the Doctor, sure. Uh, draw and play two random attributes. Using a <laughs> derby girl as a club, <coughs> and bottom half is <laughs> Willy Wonka. <laughs> That's confusing. The Matt Smith's doctor. <laughs> okay. Godzilla, the doctor, and the necromancer are walking to a bar. No, actually, they're walking to a room full of killer dolls that move when no one is looking. Oh. Well, you know, the doctor yes. knows really how this kind of stuff works. Don't blink. Don't, Don't blink, blink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the Necromancer doesn't have to blink. And the bottom half of Willy Wonka is very flexible. You know, he, like, flip, he flip tumbles and... <coughs> Godzilla just steps on the room. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, dolls. Hmm. Well, I can't think of it. I mean, the whole point of is trying to get powder. through the room, not on top of the room. Though. Yeah, you have to be able to fit inside the room, assuming the room is big enough for Godzilla. On the other hand, I'm not really sure I believe the fact that a necromancer mm. wouldn't blink at all. Mm. Like, he himself is an undead. He just makes and controls the undead. Ah. Oh, all right. Besides, what's Iocane powder do? It poisons. <laughs> poison. It's from... Right, uh, the Princess Bride. Oh, okay. Yeah. I forgot. Alright. The Necromaster does. Alright, mm -hmm. he does. Alright. We're done. Next. <coughs> Next room. A flimsy wooden floor collapses and drops the party into a swarm of zombies. I'm going to turn into a tank so they can't bite me. Fair point. The doctor's mm. dirt derby girl as a club is able to expertly just bat them away. What the door collapses and drops to a party, the, the party into a swarm of zombies. I thought it was a party of zombies. Yeah. Here. And then he, he he props the derby girl up <laughs> against the uh, wall <coughs> and climbs up her in order to get out of the pit. It's a pretty it's a pretty deep pit. Wouldn't. But zombies are clawing at them. Assuming the doctor is like six feet tall and the derby girl is also like six feet tall. Hmm. He props her up like a ladder and but just... But Willy Wonka's hair got in the way and... and it's bottom half. Yeah. Bottom the half. Bo oh, the bottom half. Yeah. Bottom half God, of Willy Wonka. Yeah. His what legs were really the, agile. What are you saying uh, about the, the Willy Wonka is so big? Um, uh, anyways, uh, I would have to say Godzilla probably is through this. He can just step on the room and... Well, he could have done that in the last the room. room. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it becomes a tank, yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's all the wins. And here, this is the stack for the bet. Uh -huh. Okay. Right. Oh, you already have a set of the super favorable. Yes, sir. Okay. 
Alright, let's see here. I'll wait till you put yours out. I've already decided on mine. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Actually, I'll put away back too, because they're right there for you. Displacer Beast. With the arm with the cursed blade. Now, what is a displacer beast? Uh, they're like a cat that has two dangles in the back, and they oh. can try to teleport themselves. Oh. Teleport them? Yeah, they displace themselves from one spot to another. I see. Okay. They're really hard to hit. Alright. Okay, oh yes, and my character is Darth Vader wearing sharp stilettos. Hmm. Okay. I'm Helen Keller, and I have a voodoo doll of my opponents. <coughs> okay, and what was the third? Uh, Displacer Beast. <coughs> Armed with a curse. <coughs> Alright. A deep pool full of sirens that beckons adventurers to swim down until they drown. Helen Keller's she, safe. She Helen can't Keller's see or hear them, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> For once, Helen Keller works out. Vader, <laughs> I'm going with Liv's his stupid breathing apparatus. Uh huh, okay. So, Displacer Beast dies. There you go. Alright. Card two A rickety wooden bridge over a bottomless pit. She has to slowly feel her way, and, and she's very lightweight. And she's not going to let anything distract her because she can't see or hear it. Darth Vader can destroy use the force in order to keep the rickety bridge collected. And you can, where you can force jump. And you can land the sharpened stilettos will stiletto. probably get stuck in, yeah, yeah. Well, no, you land on the other side, you know. It, What's your vote? Oh, You're a secondary no judge, so yes. Um, I got my opinion on this. Well... I'm thinking Helen Keller's going to have trouble on a rickety bridge because she can neither hear nor... She also has a voodoo doll of him. Well, of her... Of uh, what? You're, you're her opponent. Thing, like, point. You're part of a team, team though. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think yeah. the point is, like, if there were an enemy inside this room... It's a voodoo enemy. doll of a it's rickety a bridge, rickety. and I don't think that works. <laughs> no. Her voodoo doll failed. Darth Vader has to make and it. And she couldn't, you know, even if she's going slowly, she can't see, like, you know, the holes in the bridge. Besides, Darth okay. Vader could use the Force. The Force. Awaken. Yes. It doesn't say there are any holes in the bridge. It just says it's over a bottomless pit. So she's not going to let the pit distract her as she is trying to <coughs> climb across it like, you know. So, hmm. here's my decision on this. Because mm -hmm. you are working together, supposedly. Ah. Helen Keller wouldn't even know there's a pit there to start yeah. with. Uh -huh. And Darth Vader couldn't warn her. Mm. Yeah. yeah. There was a pit there. What? <laughs> <laughs> Just like uh -huh. her house, she didn't see it. Mm. Mm -hmm. okay. So I'm going with Darth Vader simply because he knows there was a pit there. <laughs> Two points. All right. Okay. Okay, Darth. Your turn. Buy my nice shot, yes. Make your people. Mm. So far, we have Commander Root and Slow Pool in the chat, but we also have zero people, so I'm guessing that those are bots. Hmm. All right. Uh, let's see here. Hmm. People are ready. I got mine ready. Okay. Grandma riding a T-Rex wearing a boots of levitation. Iron Giant armed with a rocket launcher. <laughs> and if you've seen Ready Player One, you know how awesome Iron Giant is. Uh, I've seen Iron Giant. That's it. Pick a comic book character. Arthur Dent. Oh. Has a towel. <laughs> I win! <laughs> okay. I guess they did it in the comic book. They, they did they do did a it, comic they book. They did it in everything. 
Oh yeah. Radio show, podcast. They did everything. The so what's the dungeon? Show. The room is. The room <coughs> locks whenever you enter. Poison gas seeps up from the floor. The exit is locked with a magical riddle. I'm going to just wrap my towel around my face so I don't die from the poison, Chris. You do that? Iron Giant doesn't need to breathe. That's a fair point. And Grandma may be in Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> Levitating boots. She floats up the as high as she can. And the rocket launcher can just blow a hole into the wall and keep going. Mm, yeah. Hmm. Despite the absurdity, it does work in the logic of the world that towels are basically able to do anything. So I'm sorry, Grandma, you gotta go. <laughs> oh, Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> she wasn't even run over by a oh, well. But But it says right here, yeah. official con convention booth is going to win every argument. But that's all right. Well, we're, yeah. we're not the official booth. We're not the booth, so I don't know. What's with the power? Yeah. Yeah, the air, same air, time conditioner, air conditioner kicks in. Okay, it's the same rate, but all right. Uh, okay, next room is a bedchamber full of seductive vampires. Iron, Iron Giant, Giant is not seduced. Has no genitalia. So yeah. He's seducing. Arthur Dent, on the other hand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can't be too scared to go near him. If it was Ford, yeah, he'd run right in. But Arthur's gonna run away. <laughs> so Arthur doesn't even enter the room. Iron Giant doesn't <laughs> care. He just kills him and moves on. <laughs> I think it goes Iron Giant. Yay! All right. I was like, has a towel. I have to yes. find a oh, card yeah. to, to go that? with. Who's for not? That's the yell of the uh, uh, Dragonborn in Elder Scrolls. Oh, I am seeing oh, okay. pushes people back. Okay. All right. Not for <coughs> <coughs> well, that's not going to We haven't played that. <laughs> um. <laughs> we may just want to kill this guy with us. <laughs> <coughs> okay, let's see. Might as well ditch the rest of this hand because let me tell you, France ain't winning anything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Didn't they win the World Cup? Hmm. Ooh. How topical. Okay. Anything important. Mm. Mm. I don't too, know too many elves. Uh, Aragon is that an elf? No. Yeah. No. Well, there Aragon was the dragon. Oh uh, well, was it, wasn't there a elf that sounded? What is it? Oh, Legolas. Pick an elf. Legolas. 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 Yeah. All, All right. right. Three. Yeah. Elf that I see. So, I am harking back to our Shadowrun days. Oh. <laughs> a sharpshooter. <laughs> Armed with a dubstep gun. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, we had a dubstep gun. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and he's getting married this coming month. Hmm. Really? Yes. Fascinating. We had not had communication with him in such a long time, but he had no idea what was going on. Hmm. I mean, it wasn't our doing, he just stopped talking to us. Mm -hmm. Okay, we got all the characters. You're going to put down the gun? Yep. Yeah. Uh, an invincible warrior statue attacks anyone without supernatural powers. Hmm. Genghis Khan leading an army of White Walkers. And Legolas armed with three healing potions. <coughs> so you can't kill him. I'll make it dance. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have. I, I think it's me. Hmm. Yeah, I'm sorry, but that's like somewhat magical. Mm -hmm. So is White Walkers. Yeah, that's I, I got Yeah. I can't even nice. come up with an argument for that. Not that that didn't deserve to die on Taco mm -hmm. Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> Giant sewer pipes guarded by a basilisk. Ooh. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. Now, I'll forget. Does basilisk turn you into stone with a gaze? It looks like. Um. I think it was Medusa's? Medusa's? Yeah, games. Yeah. You had to look at them. Yeah. So. Three healing potions. I don't know how good they are. I don't know how I have, I have, I have an entire, I have an, I have an army to. I think this group would look. Just yeah. By yeah. numbers. Yeah, it's yeah. numbers. Red shirts. Yeah. Forward. Yeah, right. <laughs> I get another point. Yay. I was surprised. I know. Turn. 
Oh, okay. yeah, I'm the dungeon. Okay. You're the master. Ah, uh, yes. Master. Dungeons. <coughs> All right. Oh. oh, well, I like this one right away. That kill a wabbit. Contracting like a trophy. And yes. now oh. a werewolf. A werewolf. A werewolf. Yeah. The were killer rabbit? Oh boy. Yeah, yeah that's a killer rabbit right there. Okay. The killer app was bad enough. Two tribbles. Whose bottom half is. Oh gosh. <laughs> Two tribbles? Two tribbles. A squad of bandits. Uh -huh. Got the tribble. Uh huh. Did we replace the battery in that thing? No. No. Okay. It needs a new Very battery. cute. It needs a new battery. It makes a neat little noise when it has a battery. And the dragon heals 100 times faster than normal. Hmm. So like Wolverine dragon. Yes. Claws and everything. All right, yeah. what's our dungeon? Okay, the room is a layer of a half spider, half... Redneck. <laughs> monster. Half spider, half redneck. I right. say draw a room. <laughs> so. Draw a random character. I'll right. draw a random character. The redneck has some mash for his still and the triples get into it. Uh-huh. <coughs> <laughs> now you can't kill him. Uh-huh. Which half is the spider and which half is the redneck? It's the top half of redneck and the bottom half are just like the spider legs. <laughs> I think you're right. I think a mutated Peter I'm gonna, Parker. I'm gonna have mm. to assume that the top half's the spider. I would think. Dragon fire breath just moves on from the room. Hmm. And killer rabbit. Well, the killer rabbit is uh, now a werewolf, so he <laughs> doesn't die easily. You have to have a silver, a silver redneck to kill him. Oh. <laughs> I think. The red knight doesn't necessarily decide what he has with him, it's just his personality. Oh. So, uh, I'd have to say probably the triples. Alright. And they die. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Oop. I really just wanted an excuse to draw a second card there. There you go. Mm -hmm. A very thin layer of ice above a freezing pool of acid is the only way across this room. I oh. fly over it. A dragon. I'm a I'm a, a real light rabbit, so I can just hop over quickly. Yeah, but flying over it is obviously no contact, while yeah, yeah, jumping yeah, on it yeah, is jumping go. on it. All right, dead rabbit. Yeah, yeah I get a point. Kill the rabbit. Kill the rabbit. <coughs> the rabbit's dead. Long live. I'm rabbit. now the judge and the jury. And the executioner. Oh no. Swear to me. This is horrible. I am a mimic of Hobbit stealth. Well, yeah, mimics have stealth. I mean, they're just going to be like, uh, but it has Hobbit stealth. Kind of, not just any stealth. <laughs> Possible comedic. Going comedic. I will as well. <laughs> Shark. Draw it and play two random attributes from the deck. You and you. Just ate a mushroom and can control hair. <laughs> I have a very weird shark. My ex. Sorry, I'm playing with Hudo. You don't have an ex. Pretend. I tried. Mm -hmm. oh, well, for her. We don't need neighbor by name, but... Okay. Yeah. Don't need to associate that name. Anyway, scarabs crawl out of the walls and try to eat at their way under everyone's skin. Well, mimics don't have skin. So. Flaming <coughs> Tutu would, 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 would spread them out. They wouldn't want to attack Flaming Tutu. Shark skin's kind of nice, though, isn't it? No. Especially with season of mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> and they don't have hair, so... Yeah. They're uh -huh. doomed. Yeah, shark so, does. Okay. Yeah, you're blaming me, dude. Who's wrong? Next room. 
A rocky floor full of scalding geysers. Ooh, Mimic doesn't mind a geyser. Does he not? <laughs> Why would he? Mimic's gonna be killed. He's a box. Yeah, he's a living box. A living box. My ex, she's already used to flaming tutu, so <laughs> a geyser, if anything, will put out the fire and she'd appreciate it. Or, you know, scalding, okay, well, she's already used to the heat, so. Mm. She's not been burned by the tutu yet. Um. <coughs> Well, can't be I think the mimic survives. Oh, wow. dies. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Oh, I got me up. Right, you're the judge. Oh, here comes the judge. Yeah. We're in the court. Okay. Oh, sounds familiar. Okay, I have Bruce Lee in Berserker Rage. The knights mm. who say me <laughs> has one intelligence. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, for let's for see. A witch, draw a character card as my 500 foot, uh, 500 pound pet, the Illuminati. <laughs> the Illuminati? <laughs> the Illuminati is my 500 pound okay. pet. Okay, this is a devious logic puzzle designed by a murderous AI. The answer is me. <laughs> I have to say that uh, logic puzzle. Logic intelligence puzzle, one. Intelligence one fails. <laughs> so okay. it's not so much a matter of arguing for yourself, but arguing against someone else. <laughs> <laughs> you were the next one to go. Oh, I know. Uh, Berserker Raids killed that. Okay, a small chamber filled with annoyingly aggressive fungus. Well, let's see. The Illuminati chamber. can take care of it, and the witch will just pass through. A small chamber, annoyingly aggressive fungus. I don't know. A 500 pound fungus. pet. The fungus can like grab onto the Illuminati as a 500 pound pet, and the witch can just <laughs> cast spells and fly I'm, past I'm it. I'm thinking a, a Berserker Rage is going to be able to to knock, it out. knock out the just get through a fungus. Yeah. Yeah, I got to go with Berserker Rage. That's Did you have right. a comment on that? Filled with small chamber filled with annoyingly aggressive fungus. fungus. Bruce Lee, I was training karate. In Argo. See, my problem with this is a witch would know how to cook the fungus. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Yeah, but this is fungus fighting back, though. Okay. Let's see. Oh, well done. You're rolling your points die. <laughs> You're rolling a points die. Well, I know I have three. Okay. okay. So if it's under, under, uh, it's one to three. Bruce Lee wins. If it's four to six. Four to I six. Win. The witch wins. Oh, the witch wins. Yeah, I get a point. Okay. <laughs> get a point. Well, that's one way to do it. Okay. All right. So All right. So I am judge. You're the man. Judge. Pick your cards carefully. Guy? He looks familiar, but I don't remember where he's. Rand Althor. Althor. What was he in? I do that. This spell wasn't looking. Show Randolph. Um, I don't recall. Okay. All right. It's gonna be hard to A argue. Wheel of something. time. Wheel of time. Wheel of time. Main protagonist in the series. Oh. Okay. Well, let's Whoever go. that is. Yes. Thanks. Uh, you uh, Google. We'll go with this guy. Very okay. Who's Rudolph? That's all he's got. I don't know if he's gonna survive. A nymph with one strength. <laughs> she has one strength. weg, one dar, one. That one giant from Game of Thrones can blow 200 mile an hour winds. Okay. Uh, a slippery balance beam over spikes in a 100 mile per hour wind tunnel. Well, I can blow the winds harder, so I'm safe. <laughs> I'll just blow them to the cancel it out. Okay. Okay. As for the other two. Um, the nip dies. Yeah. Can't do that with the nip strength. On <laughs> one strength. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay. Next room. Ambushed by a gang of deadly thieves. Each adventurer discards one attribute before this fight. Oh. So. You lose your attribute. Deadly gang you lose your attribute. Yeah. And then <coughs> next room. 
Oh no, that just is a gang of deadly thieves, and you have to argue. Oh yeah. Who has survived without their attribute? Who was Grey Warden? <laughs> I don't look, really up, look up Grey Warden. I, don't I know thought that was a uh, uh, Witcher series, but oh yeah. He was uh, Elder Scrolls. Huh? So, I'm a giant that took on the Night's Watch. Dragon Age. Dragon Age. Oh, okay. One of those games. So what did he do? I mean, what was it? Is a human uh, are in order. The Dragon Wardens are an order of warriors of exceptional ability dedicated to the fighting dra- dark spawn throughout that ass. Hmm. Their motto is in war victory, in peace vigilance, in death sacrifice. Yep. Nope. Okay. And so well, the giant makes it. The giant makes it. He's, Unless yeah. uh, you have something else. He didn't have anything. He's death sacrifice. He's just been sacrificed. Okay. <coughs> All right. You get by. Yay. <coughs> so glad that had an explanation of what that was. Yes. Yeah. All right. Characters. Characters. Ooh. Let's see here. I kind of wonder what this is like when you're playing the competitive version. Mm-hmm. I'm going to argue who is surviving a fight. But, yeah. After we get uh, so many six points, I suppose we can change it up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The fortress mode is also very different as well. Yes. Mm. Beholder. A friend to all animals. <laughs> so, all right, MacGyver, armed with a shotgun that shoots shotguns. Shoots a shotgun. Yeah, it's a shotgun that shoots shotguns. Alien from Aliens, wearing a robotic exoskeleton. Oh my gosh! Look at that. Get away from her! <laughs> all right. <laughs> a room of amateur improv comics in an infinite time loop. All right. <laughs> so I'm going with the alien lives because it has no idea what they're saying. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <coughs> they speak common, so. Hmm. Friend to all animals. Hmm. Ultimately, I mean, okay, shoot shotguns, but Boulder has like disintegration ray, freeze ray, and all that. Yeah, jazz. and I'm also going with MacGyver doesn't kill people. Yeah, mm-hmm. he doesn't tend to. No. So I think the beholder to list the MacGyver goes yeah. away. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Next. Next room. You can find a way, to, a way to turn off their mic, so at least. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> but they come right back on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, a gauntlet lined with jerk-seeking turrets. Jerk. Yeah, I've read Xanthar's. Beholder's dead. Beholder's dead. He's a jerk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Yay, point. Okay. Whoa. Five. Does that mean you have six then? Maybe you have five. Five. I have five. Oh, five. Okay. He's got five. Okay. Let's see here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. I like it. I like it. Hmm. Playing this one up, Eddie, am I? A warlock riding a spider the size of a horse. A great white shark wearing a jetpack with two extra legs. So he can walk. Yeah. <laughs> the player to your left wearing a red shirt. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, your, your thing is a large room full of 1,000 angry gimlies. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Do you really want yourself to die? <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty you sure You work at McDonald's. Yeah. I would not be able to survive that. The warlock and, and the great white shark can at least fight, so... Mm-hmm. And but walk. red shirts keep you alive. <laughs> nah, in what guys. universe? <laughs> I die in that in regard. In what universe? <laughs> John Luke never went back. No. Okay. Another room? There's yeah. something people here. Another room. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was saying I died. Yeah. Not that was. A supernatural cold room guarded by ice demons. Ooh. Hmm. Well, the Great White Shark, he's already used to the cold. Is it? The, mm. the Supernaturally cold. Okay, yeah. Well, I was on a jetpack, so I can artificially heat it. 
Well, the warlock could cast a spell around himself. He's riding a spider or something. Uh, mm, I'm gonna say the warlock dies. Unless uh, you have a different pain. I'd say the jetpack would win the shark though. The, the, the yeah, so the Warlock would die. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Alright, you get a point. I get a point. Okay. And you're the they judge. Continue, so now I'm a four, okay. They don't yes. get the point. I'm a secret agent, and I can slow time when my eyes are closed. Because nothing's going to be able to use this weapon. Mm -hmm. Gollum has one constitution. <laughs> the demon I hate trash and stop time will hold it. <coughs> Slow time or stop time? Yeah. Mm. You can still see what's going on. One constitution. One well, constitution, though, yeah. Hey. Golden! You can't even stop a hop oh. from stealing a ring. Uh, the only way through this room is an abandoned water slide covered in acid slime. Golem dies. <laughs> what? I, I mean, slime. one constitution. You know how low your hit points would be. Oh. Oh, All right. I didn't think anything could win with that. Did not think that through. No. Next. This slide apparently leads into an underwater room full of magical strangling seaweed. Ooh. <coughs> so, I can see a way out, close my eyes, and swim toward it, and time is slowed down so they can't catch me. <coughs> when they try and strangle me, I just hold my breath. Stop time. Yeah. You're already going to be holding your breath anyways because you're underwater. And then free myself and then we start. I have to go to holding your breath in the water. Yeah. All right. Ooh. And it means you don't hit six right away. <laughs> I mean, there's that metagaming uh, choice, folks, but yeah. Okay. All right. Hmm. Armed with a spell weapon. I'm a bull with super strength. Oh, a cactus. <laughs> but I use the bulls. You must survive. <laughs> the DMV. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Cactus, I, cactus, I very bull in a china shop. <laughs> bull in the DMV. <laughs> Cleric. All right. The spell strength. book. So, I'm going with the cactus will survive because it can't get frustrated. Yeah. Then <laughs> also, this is the right paperwork. You don't need any more <laughs> evidence. Talk. <laughs> well, it, okay, just it's cyclically complicated. Uh huh. So, Bull I'm sorry. I advice. think the cleric has more patience to survive the DMV. Uh huh. It's not a matter of destroying the DMV. It's a matter of surviving. Uh -huh. All right. Everyone falls into a pit trap with 1,000 hungry hippos, hippos. dragonborn at the bottom. <coughs> <coughs> I need you to make well, your case. Oh, oh. Well, I have a spell for uh, a protection. The clerics don't use as wizards that use spell books. This is apparently the cleric that uses spell book. Okay. He took the arcane domain. Yes, arcane. Spell okay. uh, Cacti uh, using the force. I have to make the force a field around me. Obviously, wrong connection of terms, but you know, you know what I mean. Uh, 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 force. 
Yeah, I'm really going right. with you don't even know what's going on. You're a cactus. <laughs> <laughs> you're not a sentient cactus. Oh, I mean, you're a cactus. I, okay, yeah. of course not. Otherwise, I mean, it. the best <laughs> you can go with is oh no, not again. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not bold, Petunias. Claire, oh. please. Uh, you okay. win. Oh god. Yay. Okay. There's a four there somewhere. Hey, we're a four, four, five, five. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Yes. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Decisions, decisions. Okay. I am the vampire slayer that can control machines. Hmm. I'm Loch Ness Monster with three foot fingernails. Pick a movie character. I am Ash, but has a chainsaw for a hand. <laughs> Ash from Evil Dead. Yes. Not Ash at Ketchum from the Pokemon. Uh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, a cave full of hungry bears. Mm. I eat the bears. Mm. I will yell at them to shop smart. Shop as smart. Because <laughs> I slaughter them with my boomstick and chainsaw. Uh-huh. You're a vampire, vampire slayer. slayer. You don't know what to do with bears. So what do you have for the state of vampire? You get control there, machines. There's, 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 control machines. There's, no there. machine. there's no machine. There's no machines. I'm sorry, but the vampire slayer is hit by the bears. Okay. And next. Trapdoor guarded by a ferocious three-headed dog. Cerberus? Cerberus? It's me, like a monster. Oh, come on. We're both the mystical beasts. <laughs> Professor Friends. Oh, golly. Let me through, please. A uh, trap door. Server. I'll give you a good back scratch with my three foot fingernails. Mm. <laughs> three foot fingernails. Three headed dog, three foot fingernails. Ooh, the decisions are not going. I'm going with barrel for each head. <laughs> and then another shot, because in the movie, he never reloads of after ten shots with a double barrel shotgun. No. No. Um. Hmm, is that? Oh, I thought it said a chainsaw. Yeah. yeah, it is a chainsaw. Well, it's, it's, not a ca chainsaw. Ash, it's Ash. Ash has a movie. Stick. He has, has a boomstick. Boom stick and the chainsaw. Also, yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and by the third one, he cuts off his hand. And, and I can also yeah. kill with my chin. <laughs> There's a book about it. He's a magnificent uh -huh. chin. A book. Yeah. I had the book. Yes, mm. it's back there. Autograph. Yes. Well, we were at the same event. Yes. I oh, I want yeah. I I okay. Go I'm ahead. so embarrassed yeah. during that event. Yeah. What do you what do you think? What's your I, opinion? I was, we went up to him and we wanted to do the There's autograph. One? Yeah, I just I think I heard it's nice. I'm gonna have to go with the lock. I think it's our slobbering. Okay. Yeah. Just, just, just so dumped out. Yay! Okay. So I asked him I don't know if you've heard of the film Stacy the Schoolgirl Zombie. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's a Japanese horror film. It's like also comedy. There were like this. They named zombies Stacy because the first person to get infected was called Stacy. <laughs> and so there are a whole bunch of schoolgirl zombies, and they have this weapon called the Ash, like the Bruce Campbell chainsaw. And so I asked him if he knew about it. And he said no, he had no idea. He never heard of it. And John was just drooling the whole time, just like unable to speak, unable to respond. And I was just casually talking with him, wow. and he was so embarrassed because <laughs> afterwards, was like, damn it, we were, I was in front of him and. I think we even gave him a copy of our movie. We did. We gave him a copy of M Program. I don't yeah. know what he did with it. No idea. Probably threw it out. So who's left, this character? That's uh, Drow. That's very famous. Oh in yeah. D and D. The only good Drow that ever lived. Uh huh. Okay. Well, I'm gonna put this so guy. No point for me drawing anymore. Give me a five, 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 four. Armed, armed with a dwarven warhammer. <coughs> okay. So unless I choose that for the express purpose of keep dealing the, the game one more <laughs> round. I am a smoke monster that can stretch like rubber. I am Gandhi with delusions of grandeur. <laughs> <laughs> you want to I use brought the down a whole rulership of India. And as an experienced civilization <laughs> game, you tend to use nukes. <laughs> <laughs> A winding hallway filled with tripwires rigged to autom to automatic crossbows. I don't trigger anything because I'm a smoke monster. I just 
float mm. through it. It can't be hurt. I've got a warhammer that like. I hold a sit in. <laughs> really like to rest. <laughs> sit. I've got a warhammer that I can throw down and it'll come back to me and trip all the trip wires. Uh, trip it doesn't say that. It's just a dwarven warhammer. Yeah. Well. Okay. I throw the warhammer down and trip all the trip wires, so I can go safely through. I think I have to go with these two surviving and Gandhi <laughs> dies. <laughs> He's suffering from the delusions of grandeur. of grandeur. Doesn't mean he actually has grandeur. Yeah, but he can sit for the rest <laughs> of time. For he doesn't a very need to eat. Long time, yeah. While the <laughs> other two progress through the room. Fight. <laughs> he doesn't fun. die. He just sits there and doesn't progress. <laughs> yeah. An enormous sleeping um. manticore blocks the only exit from this room. Embers like a palmer? I am made of smoke. It can go through any. <coughs> you may block it, but I can <coughs> float past and I can stretch my body to the point where it just floats past him and sleeps and he doesn't even realize I'm there. I whack him with my hammer. Padres. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, passing by seamlessly. Uh, yeah, he survives. I win. Mean, yeah. yeah, okay. Because we arbitrarily chose D6. You know, we had D6 and stuff. I saw them right next to me. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Makes sense. Okay, so David, we're going to set up for another. All right, you want to try the uh, fortress mode? That's a little more complicated, but I suppose we can try it. So let's pack up the uh, dungeon cards. Uh-huh. Yeah, it was like super loud. I have to get the microphones right beside the box. Yes, Chips. yes. Yeah. So, counters back at one. Assuming we're still using these to win. Evidently. Potentially. What are the rules for this one, David? So, Choose one player to defend the fortress and another player to be the judge. Everyone else will be attacking the fortress together. The defending player draws three wall cards, four defense <coughs> cards. The defender plays one wall and two defense to construct their fortress. Uh, the defender then draws a random character card to be the commander of that fortress. Oh, goodness. Is this quite a bit more It is in depth? That card in front. Alright, so... There's a lot uh, of yeah. cards. There are. That's why they said they're drawing... Uh, so what are we drawing here? Uh, defense? One person is the judge, <coughs> one person is the defender, and the other two are attacking. Okay. The ball cards. <coughs> I'll have to shuffle because I've never even seen these cards before. So mm -hmm. we do judge, uh, defender, attackers. All right. So I'll put these near the center. So you can pull. Okay. Um, three walls and four defense. And then you would play one wall and two. And the others build characters like normal. Stats normal? Okay. Yeah. Three and three, and you choose one of each. Two. One wall, two defense. One wall, two defense. 
And you also take a random character card to be the commander of your fortress. Okay. So do they... I show they, first? Yeah. I mean, we chose our characters, so... Alright, we're going with... The defending player argues to defend their fortress from all attacking players. A wall of meat grinders. <laughs> Guarded by a bunch of preschoolers armed with acid squirt guns. Don't give my ideas. <laughs> Guarded by goblins armed with pots of boiling battery acid, draw a random character card. So, two random character cards, I think. Yes. Your commander is... My commander is everyone at Burning Man. <laughs> That's going to be crazy. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> And Marshmallow Man is with the goblins. <laughs> with the battery acid. So with the battery. Are your acid. characters? I have a boy band with majestic flaming antlers growing out of their heads. <laughs> <laughs> I have the Terminator. Can only be killed by a stake through the heart. Hmm. None of you have stakes through the heart. So I think I can make it through. Totally melt the boy band. Oh. Uh, I mean, acid. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Okay. So how does this work? <laughs> After the arguments, the judge picks the defender or the attackers to win the fight. If the attackers win, each attacking player gets a point. If the defender oh. wins, they get one point per attacking player. So, so a lot of people build, build weird things at Burning Man. Even the Burning Man. And they are all uh, made of wood. Uh, I can get a stick. Ah. Uh, In worst case, I can stop him and with my meat grinders <laughs> and all that acid melting the stay puff, keeping him still. <laughs> they never said this guy had to survive. Mm. So we really kill both of us? Yeah, you kill both of you. You get two points. Yay! The, for the next round, the player to the left becomes of the defender becomes the new defender. So it just rotates. Uh -huh. And so judge <coughs> and okay. rotate as well. Okay. Okay. Does that make sense? I guess so. <coughs> so let's see. let's see. Four defense cards. And you only use one of those. So three. we're three at three, right? Yeah, yeah. And three we're wall charge. So. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I want that, that, that. I want two from this stack, one from this stack. Mm -hmm. So how do you use the uh, wall cards? So you use the three wall cards. You use. We use one wall and two oh, defense. One wall and two defense. Yeah. Uh. Hmm. Hmm. I chose not a joke carrier this time. Hmm. Rambo, three stories tall. <laughs> I have a sphinx that is unaffected by impact. You are facing a moat filled with electric piranhas, guarded by sound-activated poison dart traps, and covered in tripwires rigged to bombs. Hmm. Rambo's going to be hurt with the sphinx. Eagle. Sphinx is going to fly over He's a moat. Fly over I'm three a stories moat. tall. Sure, I can step over the moat. You can step over the moat. And the, and the traps. You'd still be making sound by flying over it. And the yeah. poison dart traps would fire it. Poison darts aren't going to hurt Sphinx. Well, they also have to impact. impact. Yeah. Mm. It's like he has bulletproof skin. And so it includes needles. Mm -hmm. Covered in tripwires rigged to bombs. If it's shrapnel, impact. And if it's a concussive force, impact. Yeah. Piranhas, I'm going to just point them. <laughs> or ask them a riddle that everyone knows. Rambo, I could also, you know, presumably Rambo has his gun. He can also shoot grenades while they're at a distance. Mm. Hmm. 
I thought I was a judge. You are the judge. Yes, yeah, so how's Rambo going to gonna get past the piranhas? Yeah. Mr. Cobra, three stories tall. He just so can't even yeah. walk over it. I Wait. think those guys win. Yeah, yeah. Stinks okay. definitely has, has got that. You each get a point then. Be 12 points. Okay. No. Alright. Alright. So now. So I guess I'm. You. Be. Two walls. Alright. So it's supposed to be four walls. Three walls. Three and walls. Four defense. And four defense. Three walls. Okay. Three walls. Yeah. Fence. Okay. Your judge. Let's be this All Alright, let's stay here. That. Oh, yeah. That. Two of those. One of those. You're the judge. Yes. I was rounding up back to the next spot. Hmm. Hmm. I want clean fight. Okay. <laughs> I forget who we're, who we're going first. Are you picking your people right, first? Everybody just decides first, and then okay. once they're decided, yeah. then, then, then we get shot. Ah. That way it's still a surprise for everyone. Okay, so we got it. <laughs> okay, that would be good so this. good or be so funny. <laughs> uh. You skipped the giraffe? Mm. <laughs> yeah. With flaming hands? Okay. Everyone picking? Yeah. All yes. Right. All right. I think I got something here. Uh, let's see. Well, this is going to be a tough one. First of all, we have an impassable wall. An impassable wall with a gate that requires long division problems to open. Protected by a motion activated anti gravity cannons, which are guarded by hurricane force air cannons. So these guys at, uh, lift you up, anti gravity, and this guy blows you away. I'm a senior citizen bowling team that throws spears. You got it? Oh, go ahead. <laughs> I am a cleric, min-maxed for magic. <laughs> okay. I got ninth level cleric spells here. But can you do long division? <laughs> <laughs> so, to get past... Oh, we need a commander. Oh, command! Oh, yeah. Oh, I forgot about pulling the commander card. Put, uh, yeah. so your commander is Spartan. Spartan. Okay. Spartan. Okay. Not that it really matters. But okay, Good. Spartan. <laughs> All right. So. So, Dale, what were you thinking? <laughs> <laughs> you forgot the uh, commander. Okay. Um. So you said bowling game. Yeah. My well, they're they're good at throwing bowling balls. They should be good at throwing spears. My anti gravity and, and and they yeah. they should be able to solve long division because they're yeah. they're so wise. They're old and wise because yeah. they're seniors. And uh, if they die, they get resurrected. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Well, you know. Okay. Anyway, I've not found that to be the case though in drive through. But anyways, and then. <laughs> Clearly, I'm yeah. gonna get gaped and just go for it. Uh, but I'm still gonna float you up and blow you away. And Spartan guy, yeah, he deals with shields. Stuff, though. I mean, you'll get, you get past the impassable wall with the spell gate. Mm. How are you dealing with these cannons? See, this is a trickery cleric. A trickery <laughs> cleric makes a duplicate mirror image of himself. Okay. So they're targeting the wrong one. But there's two cannons. The mirror image probably wouldn't blow away because it's not real. So I know right away. That's not real. So you make the illusion that it is reacting, though. Oh, really? Yeah. And my spells are coming from it, not me. Fascinating. But you still have to go by, come by through yourself. And it's motion to control. So you're, you're, as soon as you move, you're up in the air and blown away. That's what invisibility is for, which is only trickery clerics. Uh, <laughs> well. And, and as for the Spartan, I've got a poison damage type now. So, I'm just so if he loses and he wins, 
the we still no, no, no. resurrected. 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 Uh huh. Resurrected. He keeps me alive. I'm a maxed <laughs> cleric. <laughs> These are rolled stats, baby. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a group of people throwing dark, you know, throwing spears and being throwing a distraction. Uh huh. Well, Spartan, he knows how to handle spears. This is fair. This he is throws them back. <laughs> yeah, well, he pins you to the to the gate with the spears. Pins, pins, pins. Yeah. Senior citizen bowling team knows about pins. Thank you for. Uh -huh. Putting the closer on that one, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, <coughs> All right, Judge. I think the cleric probably beat you there. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. What? Magic. I mean, it, there's it's way too powerful. Yeah, we get a point. I try to try and make the game that doesn't have magic in it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sure. Okay. You say that now. Wait till you should turn. read um. Mage the Ascension. And it's not that powerful. All right. So I'm Judge. Hmm. You're on ball duty. And then one surprise general. What the heck am I going to justify a bunch of senior citizens? <laughs> and how, oh, resurrection. <laughs> you don't need to go that far. You need to revivify and remove them. Animate dead. Yeah. Well, <laughs> 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 You're halfway there. Why not? But now they're zombies. That was so far here. Let's try something else. Come on, Dad. Let's do it. Oh boy, we can do this. Uh, what the heck? I don't know, I'm never gonna get a point anyway. So I'm a vegan. That just drank five energy drinks. <laughs> really? <laughs> I'm a sumo wrestler armed with ghost pepper spray. At ghost, least I'm trying. Ghost pepper spray. Oh. <laughs> okay. Maybe he got really poor defenses. <laughs> I doubt it. A lot of these are pretty capable. Uh huh. Or terrible general. General. An active NASCAR track. Uh, a giant sandworm that erupts from the ground near the walls, and guarded by a hippo-headed dragon. Hmm. Well, my general is a saber-toothed tiger. Hmm. <coughs> okay. Sumo wrestlers <coughs> can handle, like, they're typically like four or five hundred pounds, and they can handle impact. A car, a NASCAR, hmm. driving at its velocities, and it's a, it's a you know, na active NASCAR track, so there are several cars. Well, I just had five energy drinks, so I'm like really fast. <laughs> and really, going. really alert. <laughs> <laughs> so I can get across that track. Strong. I can get across that track. There it is. <laughs> okay, guarded by the hippo-headed dragon. dragon. Um, it just sprays ghost pepper in his face. Ghost pepper spray. Same with the sandworms. Yeah. Yeah. They don't have eyes. They don't have eyes. Okay, sandworms. Uh, yeah. Erupts from the ground. Well, yeah, those ghost peppers are really hot. They, they, they That's just near them. the walls. It doesn't mean that we yeah. can have to. Yeah. You know. Directly approach them. They're small. They yeah, obviously big places, small. places around the wall that <coughs> are the small and fast. The sandworms aren't there, and I'm I'm a big target, so I can let you get past. Yeah. So people would focus on the bigger target, and I have. Well, obviously them. you're a bigger target, so you're more obviously going to be found by the sandworms then. But then the Viking can get past me because yeah. the sandworms are dealing with me. And the guarded hippo-headed dragon will eat the vegan. <laughs> Thinks he's a hungry, hungry hippo headed dragon. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, as I am understanding it, the vegan is defeating the NASCAR track. Yeah. Because he is hyped up on five hour energy. Yeah. Okay. That's how he says. <laughs> and. And wouldn't the NASCAR. Cars, like, wouldn't they end up hitting the sandworm or something else? I mean, if they're along the track and this wall is a track and they're, you know, yeah, well, no, they 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 the sandworms track. are on the inside near the track, mm. yeah. So, like, unless the last car, like, tries on the side, like, the track's like a moat, man, yes, but instead of 
All of you find piranhas or sharks, we have a NASCAR. Oh my gosh. Cars. Uh huh. NASCAR car. That's All right. Silly. Yes. Mm. Is everyone done with their arguments? Yeah. Yeah. I am ruling in favor of the wall because no one has said how they're dealing with the cyber tooth tiger. That's oh. He was going to spray it with pepper spray, though. Okay. That was on the dragon. Uh, yeah. No one has argued this saber tooth tiger. Yeah. Uh, saber tooth tigers don't vegan. eat vegans. Oh. It's <laughs> the other way around. <laughs> 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 so I get two points. That's yes. us. That brings me up to three. Okay. So I think you need to specifically say how you defeat that commander. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Hmm. Now, <coughs> if the hmm. vegan by happenstance said. Uh -huh. To everything, I'm a vegan until it died of boredom. I would have gave it to you. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, this is interesting. One, two, three, four. I am judge. And mm. you're judge, and you're back to the castle. Okay. Yeah. All right. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> I am an eagle. I am a banana. You are. You don't look like that. I am f Freddy, but I'm Freddy Fazbear. Okay. I know Kung Fu. Alright. Your wall is a hundred foot feet of desert guarded by land sharks. Hmm. Protected by pterodactyls that drop tigers on invaders. <laughs> and guarded by electrified poisonous porcupine <laughs> cannons. <laughs> and our commander is a warlock. Ooh. So, I'm an eagle made of sand. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you don't have any issue with the desert. You can just fly right over it. I can fly right over it. Oh, I got pterodactyls dropping tigers on them. I can fly day. over pterodactyls. I'm an eagle. Well, assuming like you're made of sand and it's like yeah. the like Sandman from yeah. you know, Spider-Man. Where he can reconstruct himself. Exactly. Right. Now. I'm going to go with the argument that a Warlock's special ability is to take two mere damage and draw another card. <laughs> Hearthstone. Okay. <coughs> I can fly into the Warlock's eyes and blind him, turning into sand. The, what was the other one? The <laughs> Guarded by oh, electrified, I poisonous, Porcupine cannons. They don't bother me. <laughs> Freddy, you know, Crasberry obviously being an animatronic, but he's possessed by a spirit, so not sure if the electricity would really affect him. Obviously, the poison wouldn't. The tigers just look at him as a cheap one. Hmm. But he keeps coming back, though, being a possessed animatronic. This is going to last more than five minutes. <laughs> well, wait a minute now. The cleric could have run out of power and could, couldn't could have brought his guys back. Back Cute. in that other world. Warlock gets spells back with the short rest. So anyway. <coughs> so so Freddy should have unlimited spells. Land and air protection. And it's the desert, so there's no sea power. No. Well, Look, I can see how the eagle would get past the land and the air protection, but how are you going to get past the warlock? Like I say, I can turn into sand, spread myself out, blind him, and then re coalesce and fly out. Pocket sand! <laughs> yes. I never watched the show, I just know the one reference. Any, uh, 
Well, to deal with the sand, it's clearly using the um, armor that smacks your opponent when they try and do that. Not to mention, you've got multiple Eldritch invocations that can be used against this. Hmm. We can make it darkness, so it doesn't know where it is. And I can have my familiar go after it. I'm an eagle, man. I can fly high and fast. So yeah, he's really made out of sand, though. He doesn't have real eyes, though. He's obviously got some sort of blind side. Ah. This thing, I'm just going to clean my porcupines <laughs> and tigers. Well, obviously, Freddy's not going to survive, but I'm just saying the eagle. So, with that warlock going through my knowledge of all of D&D, &D, <laughs> um, if I was going to defeat Sounds said like made eagle, a game, made a game in the main. Anyway. Is, That's the name uh, of the game, Brad. Yes. <laughs> it is going to be clearly a Fey Pack Warlock that's Whoa. chained. Oh, so the familiar will be an invisible sprite taking that out hmm. and harassing it, giving me the help action. While <laughs> I'm using Misty Step just to get out of the way and blasting it with every spell, illusion, and things, mm. or at least two of them. <laughs> Ultra glass, Ultra glass, Ultra glass. Uh huh, uh huh. Ah, uh, touch, touch, touch. Wall wins. I figured. Ah. Uh. It's trying to be going that route. Mm. And then we're stopping at six, six points. Yeah. Okay. Oh. That's it. That's it. How well can you be? Yes. <laughs> yes. That's pretty much the game, yeah. So do you want to try the regular version? Who's the bigger sure. nerd? Because the regular version can use the other decks that include <coughs> um, specific challenges, locations, and circumstances. Hmm. Oh, that's the street deck. And basically all of us play in a uh, all free-for-all fight. And try and argue the best yes. argument. Yes. Hmm. Should we shuffle this or just keep moving them aside? Um, we still have enough cards you can just sure. keep moving to yeah. the side. That's right. it's, it's, oh, really the point of having so many. Okay. Wall, wall. wall. So wall. what are these two? Those are specific challenges. Instead of just a battle, it is considered like the best at this, the worst at that. Who'd be the best president? Who would you want as a baby? Okay. Side? Do we want to do that and just pick a color? Green. That's really just more of these, just oh, with uh, friendlier, kid-friendly stuff. Oh, kid-friendly. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay, so maybe not green. Okay. <laughs> hmm. This looks like, I'm guessing, location-based. Yes. That looks like some sort of sport. I don't know what that is. Those are, yeah, uh, as scenarios. I'm going to go with that. But okay. you can mix them all. That's the point. Well, but look. How about we just put these three on the stack and go around the table and you pick what color we're at. Okay. That way we don't mix these into a... Uh, no, I really four want to mix those. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. This makes me think of that bears versus babies would be fun again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so it's three, three, and... Choose one of each. High roll gets to be the one that picks which card deck we're going scenario-wise. Mm -hmm. okay. Or at least high roll first. Two. Sound good? Okay. Three. Six! Not me. No, two. Three. Three, all right. <coughs> two, three... One and reveal scenario first so we know what we're building. Very good. Sound okay. good? That sounds fair. Okay. Alright, I like purple. Okay. So we're starting with Fighters are babies. Okay. So we're all mm -hmm. fighting against each other. Uh -huh. Moving in a fight. Uh -huh. We're all babies. Fighters are babies. Okay.
Hmm. Oh well. I'm gonna do a giveaway here. Ah. Common cold. It's really, really stupid. And but it's a baby yeah, common cold. Those are right cold cards. Yes. <laughs> I'm a kaiju. That's ten stories tall. But a baby. I'm an assassin. That's a stuffed animal. Baby stuff animal. I'm a mummy that commands an army of disposable min minions. So I am your mummy. Mm -hmm. But you can't be the baby. Oh. No, they're all babies. <coughs> What's the point of the card? They're all babies. We're all babies. Yeah. I have an army of minions, <coughs> and I'm your mummy. <laughs> <coughs> I'm not sure. I think the common cold can like defeat anything, but it's really stupid. <laughs> but see, a mummy's already undead. It's not going to die to the common cold. Ah. And the assassin is a stuffed animal, so it's not human, so it can't catch the common cold. The kaiju is the only one that actually has biology to it. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh, oh. oh my goodness, it can't be. I, I think guess the common cold just got the kaiju. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, that's well, it's premise of. War of the Worlds. Yeah. 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 And I guess uh, Evolution, was that the movie? Yeah. David Company? Yeah. 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 No, that was, oh, yeah. was that Death one? by um, Head and Shoulders. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Dan yeah. 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 All right. All right. So, Common Cold, we're not even going to worry about at this point because mm -hmm. these guys are Can't affect it. immune to it and they'll yep. die off with no host. Yep. So, mm -hmm. I, do kill me. I have an <laughs> army of minions to throw in the way of this assassin. Also, a stuffed animal who can't really can die. Be destroyed. Yeah, can be destroyed. Be you have not seen it, what has happened to any of my kids' stuffed animals after my dog gets hold. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so, mummy wins then. And I'm I'd also going with mummy. it's a wrap. As in, it's a wrap. It's, yeah, it's, it's done. Yeah. All right, the mummy. I'm gonna roll again to see who picks the well, card or left. Yeah, okay. You uh, I'll pick the yellow. Clay fighting sh no, clay pigeon shooting. So who's the best at clay pigeons shooting? Hmm. Okay. It was a grey warden, whatever that was, with arms with an elvish longbow. Okay. Prince Charming. It's really, really emotional. Chuck Norris, armed with holy hand grenades. <laughs> well, I'd say the Elvis song goes a winner on that one. Yeah. I'm going with Wizard can fly if nobody's watching. <laughs> We're all watching. Yeah. Nobody's yeah. watching. Unless that yeah. Wizard has magic missile. I think the Elvis long Yes. Yeah. I so, got a point. Yeah. yeah. This card reminds me of a bad joke I read. And I have to share it now. Mm -hmm. The card, Stephen Hawking. And this guy buys a Ouija board. And he's trying to get in touch with celebrities. Mm -hmm. He can mm -hmm. only get in touch with Stephen Hawking. <coughs> uh -huh. Turns out Led Zeppelin was right. <coughs> There's a stairway to heaven. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all gonna have a little trouble. Okay. Well, Stephen Hawking <coughs> didn't believe in no. heaven or hell, he so. Uh, <laughs> okay, how do I want to go All with right. blue. Blue. What was it now? Oh wait. Okay, blue. That's the right traffic. So it's just a fight. L.A. traffic. Hello, no, traffic. Tra 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 <laughs> we are <laughs> in France. <laughs> La it is how we read it. We're in La Traffic. We're in La Traffic. <laughs> La traffic. <laughs> La traffic. <laughs> All right. Oh, they I didn't put the it. periods in there, LA. This is fair, yeah. yeah. La Traffic. Who <laughs> win oh, yeah. that fight? Okay. <laughs> uh, I love this game so much. <laughs> 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 All right. Okay. Here we go. I got Grandma riding a T-Rex armed with an infinite sausage. Here we go. The Hulk, made of lava. 
I'm going with Hydra. <coughs> wearing rocket powered roller skates. <coughs> oh, yeah, that looks pretty good. Jack Bauer can throw sticky bombs. Mm. The Hulk made of lava. I mean, like, I, what's I mean, gonna go? I'm gonna just fly yeah, through this fly traffic, through. Uh -huh. or la traffic, <laughs> la traffic. <laughs> and get to the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> Why are you eating your la baguette? La baguette. Yeah, yeah. I can throw la sticky songs. bombs. Uh huh. <laughs> I'm not sure how you decide. You do. do I win? Uh, oh, no, I'm not trying to saying that. Get a little sticky bomb. Okay. Actually, I think I'll hold on to All right. those. So what I'm arguments are we making for yeah. Grandma riding a T-Rex? Okay, we're still just uh, we're fighting each other still? Or yes, or this is uh, fighting. We're trying to survive yeah. LA traffic. She's, she won't be run over by a reindeer. This is true, yeah. And she can throw that sausage anywhere to track the T-Rex to it, so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> She gets your lasso on you. Infinite. Watch out for her sausage. sausage. Yeah. Infinite. Yeah. Oh my gosh. She keeps going. She's an Italian grandmother. She knows how to cook some sausage. Infinite sausage. The, the T Rex eats. I can throw so sticky much. bombs at the grandma who dies, but then the T Rex has no one controlling it. What about And it this? just rampages randomly. So it destroys all the LA traffic. Well, it rampages after you because you go to grandma. No, no, no. The thing grandma. is, just getting uh, through blood traffic. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm going through on my yeah. roller skates. I can go on. Have you side seen 24? Ball? Jack Bauer can get through anything. Oh, well, and the Hulk, he can pretty much get through anything too. Especially if he's made of lava. <laughs> yeah, but you're gonna just melt a hole <coughs> in the ground. Well, you can. Well, yeah, he moves pretty quick. What concrete does not <laughs> survive? Like lava. Lava. La lava. <laughs> or lava. Lava. I'm really sorry. Uh, a Hulk made of lava. Lava. <laughs> does not do anything. <laughs> no, no, that's and not. A Hulk can that's bound. Not. He can jump clear over all that la traffic. <laughs> can't bound if lava is just like bluffs. It's making uh -huh. so many holes underneath the concrete that you just fall uh -huh. through it. You, yeah. <laughs> Lava. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, finally, Grandma dies. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Uh, All right, we might have a problem here. Oh, mm -hmm. oh. Va mm -hmm. <laughs> is the French verb to go. Uh, <laughs> to go. <laughs> so. Oh, good. This is the Hulk <laughs> in La Traffic. La going. <laughs> I'm throwing my rope behind the Hulk. Oh, oh get going. Love up. Thank you, thank you. I, that. Okay. Okay. I will sacrifice okay. my for that, yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 I'm like, okay, what ridiculous thing can I make from Va? Uh -huh. Oh, it means to go. I gotta support it. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much. Okay. okay. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. Let me load back up again. Mm -hmm. Three and three. So, what color are we doing? Um. <laughs> uh, I didn't think I'm liking the cycle here, so I'll go purple again. Uh. Players swap character cards. Okay. okay. So we got to make the worst character with the best attribute. <laughs> All right. Okay. So I guess don't. Are we revealing first and then swapping, or? Hmm. And do we want to pass the left across the table? I think we get uh, uh, past the left since we've been passing the, the okay. right to the left. Yeah. Mhm. Mm okay. So we pass before we uh, show. Yeah. No, no. Attribute yeah. stays. Right. Oh, what? It was character cards. But if character that's right a character right. card. Oh. Okay. All right. <laughs> That's what we have to use? Yes. An ocelot <laughs> is dating the game master. <laughs> <laughs> Saruman has a magical floating sword that follows them around and stabs their enemies. <coughs> Literal teen wolf armed with a bow and unlimited arrows. <coughs> a giant squid armed with poison tip lance. Right. I'm going to argue this Teen Wolf cannot use this bow and arrows. Hmm. No thumbs, no, no thumbs. fingers. Hmm. 
literal teen wolf. Literal, literal teen, teen wolf. Yeah, it's okay. a wolf that is it's a teenager. A wolf. Yeah. As opposed yes. to a human yeah. teenager. Not that teen wolf. And it just has pads, paws. Okay. A giant squid armed, armed with poison hey. tipped lights. Squids can do a lot of stuff. They're crazy they manipulative are. of their yeah. appendages. They can do it. But do they have the strength to thrust a lance? Mm. This, is, this is fair. I, mean, I think a so. A lance is big. It's yeah. heavy. What's well, a giant squid? It's a giant squid. Yeah. The poison tip lance. So it really just needs to pierce the target enough in order yeah, to get poison in there. Doesn't have to skewer it. Now, see, the Saruman wouldn't have a body. He just has this magical sword <laughs> that's stabbing people, but he doesn't have a body to stab. Saruman has a body. It's Sor Sauron. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The Mon part's the only part that can't keep Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's annoying. <laughs> yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I really hate to say this, though. Mm. We would lose to whoever's taking the game master. That's how it works in every yeah. playing game. Well, the Ocelot is taking the game master. Ah, uh, okay. Whoever the game master is. So I would say they, you know. Matt Mercer is more than willing to kill Marisha, so. Yeah, but knowing that within a moment she can be brought back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, so the game master wins. Yeah, first well, who's the king master? The Ocelot. Yeah, the Ocelot. I, I, yeah, you know, that's his argument. There was his recommendation. I have to go with yeah. that, I guess. Yeah. That okay. The game master. Yeah, now, I'm really worried for this game point. master and yeah. what they're into. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Pick the next. Thing. We now have Bloodluster. Check my profile. -y. <laughs> Commander root and slow cool, but it still shows up at zero in the chat. So, so nobody take that okay. as you will. All right. All right, we are doing this nice yellow one. Soccer, team sport, all all fighters multiplied by eleven. So huh? We would win at soccer. Yes, we have eleven fighters. Eleven fighters. Hmm. Okay. I've got a street fighter that shoots blinding light from his hands. I have hmm. an adventuring party oh made up of a grizzly bear, a snake, <laughs> and Google <laughs> that can possess opponent for 30 seconds then gets very tired. Now remember, there's 33. <laughs> I have the power of 11 Googles. <laughs> That's a lot of Google. Uh, yeah, uh, they can't all be on the field at once. It's a team of 11. Have you Googled that rule? Mm. <laughs> you wouldn't know it. Because I'm going to say they can. I, I have a samurai with a mustache that can stretch and move at will. <laughs> <laughs> my, uh, my 11 samurais mustaches can stretch and 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 capture the street fighter. I don't know about you guys, but <laughs> it captures the street I shoot blinding lights from my hands. Your samurai can't see where to put them, you know. I have a murder hobo. Every D and D character. Armed with a portal hole. Portable hole. Portable hole. Yeah. Alright. Eleven of them. So <coughs> to fight said samurai. Mm. Your Google result returns some bad shaving advice. <laughs> You're supposed to be good at soccer, though, is the point. Hmm? You're not fighting each other. You're playing a game of soccer. Who would be the yeah, best at playing Yeah, but I'm getting rid of the mustache by some bad shaving advice. Oh, ho, ho, ho. The ref clearly doesn't know the rules because he Googled them wrong. <laughs> the snake... Well, in that case, the mustache becomes another player because it can move at will. <laughs> <laughs> I've got two players, a mustache and a samurai. <laughs> Eleven mustaches. Uh -huh, Assuming yeah. he shaved off all of them. With trickle and samurais samurais. Shaving. Yeah. How's the mustache supposed to kick a soccer ball? Fascinating, isn't it? How is it supposed to have a mind of its own? <laughs> Wait, why are we? <laughs> I think you're arguing the wrong point. <laughs> <laughs> so, my bears, all 11 of them, are just in front of the ball. Hmm. I even put wool holes to remove the bears. Huh? You have to get them in at first. Portable holes, like what, this big? It's not big enough to hold a bear. 
I mean, you gonna drag each one on each limb. I mean, they're also murder hobos. I mean, I would just <laughs> stab them. If you had a bag of holding, I'd give it to you. Mm. Or if you had that, uh, what's that, that gun that shoots a hole and then you. The portable, portable, portable gun? Portable 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 that's gun. what I originally yeah. thought. It yeah, the red, portable gun, yeah. Then it was portable hole. Oh, that's why you did. Well, I gotta work with this yeah. now. <laughs> yeah, portable gun, that's what I was thinking of originally. That's another card that's not in there. Ah. Uh, mm hmm. Somewhere in these texts. Yeah, I think the samurai loses. Oh, alright. I'll also say the Street Fighter loses. <laughs> Murder hobo. Murder hobo against the snakes. Snakes and grizzly well, bears. No, and snakes would definitely fit inside a, a portable hole. And bears, oh my. Yes. Well, the bears eat you. Well, I'm also a murder hobo. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's basically every D and D fighter and grizzly bears. But you get tired looking at the snake. If it sits upon it for thirty seconds, that's then for a mullen. So, hey, we look at you for thirty seconds. <laughs> Uh, I spare well, you. So it's, it's sort of like the um, uh, uh, share con. Yeah. Mm. Okay, <laughs> fine. Uh, uh, we just didn't have the bare necessities. No. Uh, uh, All right. <laughs> pick the next one. Uh, we're gonna pick another yellow. Another yeah. <coughs> Basketball. Team sport. All fighters multiply by five. Basketball. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Now I need to make this clear since this doesn't. <laughs> this is Dexter the Kid, not the serial killer. Okay. Uh -huh. Leading a team of trained velociraptors. Well, this is Ash, the one with the boomstick. But armed also with a live T-Rex head on a stick. <laughs> okay. You trade it in the like one of those piece. pickup things? <laughs> <laughs> Amazon Warrior can clone himself, but each clone is half the size of the previous. So, hmm. they're the height of two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, the Splacer Beast... Swinging a shark on a chain. Space race, they have those tentacles coming out of their backs. They can definitely grab the basketball. Gee. Teleport around. Uh, but my, my, my light T-Rex head can, can put the basketball in his mouth and Ash can hold it up. And he the, ball. Ball. the Amazon words have a variety of heights. And so the ones that are <laughs> half as tall can get on maneuver. Top. Oh, yeah. under and around people and to hand the ball to the people who are tall enough in order to make the baskets. Huh. Dexter, seeing that Dee Dee is not around to foil his plans, <laughs> will succeed. <laughs> <coughs> He's just plans to foil on themselves. Oh, very often, yes. <laughs> Especially uh, Velociraptors, I mean, if we're talking the way that they were led in Jurassic World, did not go well. I never saw it. Oh. Yeah, the spacer beat. I just grabbed the ball and teleported to the other side. He didn't really need and them so much as just feed them and kept them from killing him. Mm. They didn't really do what he said that much. Mm. Okay. Well, gee, I don't know. So, this is a tough one. I'm not thinking the displacer beast. One, it probably doesn't even know how to play basketball. <laughs> well, he's well, got in the game. I'm sure he has a pretty high mm -hmm. intelligence. For a, you know, beast. Hmm. And Ash is one handed. Yeah. Mm hmm. Oh, all right, Ash, we go. Let's move it on. Amazon Warriors are highly trained, efficient. Basketball is a worldwide sport. All concede to the Amazon Warriors. Soccer would be. I don't know if Ash basketball would go on. More so than American football. Yeah. Okay. Soccer's game is on more than Dexter. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I get a point. All right. 
Amazon Royal. Next is, uh, let's see here. Put it down. I guess we didn't select our people. Inside a giant whale? Inside a giant whale. That's interesting. Then I shall be. I'll save him for later. A polar bear armed with an axe. I'll be a Valkyrie riding a flying Norwal. I'm a carny that really, really has to be. <laughs> <laughs> so you're a carny. <laughs> Inside the whale, huh? Yep. I okay. guess I'll, out. I'll go with. <laughs> Tiamat. It has two extra arms. Oh. So the multiple heads is sufficient. Exactly. Yeah. Hmm. hmm. Well, I'm yeah. hacking my way out of this whale with an axe. I'm really. I don't know what you guys are going to use. How much use a flying narwhal is inside another whale? Hmm. Assuming if we're going with the <laughs> Pinocchio version of the inside of a whale. <laughs> it's very spacious, apparently. And it even supports the uh, lighting of a fire. Yes, indeed. <laughs> you have an entire ship in there. Yeah. I still like my polar bear with the axe. I, I mean, that, that's the way to get out of a whale. can blow a ton of smoke, and that is clearly <laughs> the way to get out of a Pinocchio-style whale. Oh. Uh, I forgot about that. That's clever. But obviously a narwhal, as I mean, the this small world built for flying, and being a narwhal, he can still swim. So once I escape, I can just swim out and then fly away. Deity. What's your Valkyrie going to do? She's riding it. She's riding it. Yeah. Can the Valkyrie breathe underwater? Breathe underwater? <laughs> well, the well, Norwalk well, can swim fast enough. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm going with Deity. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, you throw a god in there. Uh, the Carney will do anything to get out of there. <laughs> no, I'm not going to ask I'm going with once out of said whale. Uh -huh. Deity, drowning. <laughs> hmm, all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Pick one, Johan. Special drone. Hmm. <coughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know if I can use that one ever. I'll go with another blue. Oh. Uh -huh. A wind tunnel. Okay. <clears throat> the doctor, armed with an impenetrable shield. George W. Bush on the Segway. <laughs> <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> a beholder with a magical pet rock as a familiar. <laughs> it would have been funny if you pulled goldfish. goldfish. Yeah. That would have been delightful. Yeah. Heisenberg he has no principles. Explodes if they stop moving. <laughs> Heisenberg explodes. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> In a wind tunnel? Or you don't stop moving. <coughs> I think the doctor with an impenetrable shield has got to, has got to be the the winner of this one. He's able to go through this, this uh, withstand the wind in the tunnel. It's, it's not just like damages. And he lives forever, rating. so he can. He, can he doesn't live forever. A Segway can move pretty fast. And don't tell you what. Mission accomplished, no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Let's say that. Yeah. Hmm, we really need a judge for this one. The holders can fly. And that they can have a hover. Man, he can hover. When the wind kind of blows you around. You you're hover. blown to the back of the tunnel. Yeah, by being held down by my pet rock. <laughs> That's like this big. <laughs> it's a magical pet <coughs> rock. It casts a large rock. Okay, you can throw magic stone at someone. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. 
You're exactly coming. <laughs> you plug it to the back. <laughs> all right. So, mm -hmm. assuming the beholder floats all the way to the back. The Segway could probably keep up in most speeds of a wind tunnel until they get really high. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But George Bush on a Segway. <coughs> yeah, he's in a wheelchair now. George, well, George W. Bush, so sorry. Oh, no, nah, W. was a... a he's in a wheelchair yeah. now? He was the old guy? No, no, he's that's a senior. Oh, he's a son. Not senior, okay. he's a son. No, oh, he's the idiot. H. Anyway. Bush. <laughs> well, <they're>... Anyway. <coughs> All right, either way... Um, does he even know how to ride a Segway? All right. Okay. So here's what I'm thinking is the logic we're having to look here. The holder's blown to the back, right? Mm -hmm. Segway's only going to go so far once this hits such wind speed. Mm -hmm. He's in the back as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Heisenberg <laughs> is not going to stay up in a wind tunnel. He's going to go to the back. And once he stops, he explodes. Uh-huh. So the doctor. <laughs> the doctor with the impenetrable shield is the only <laughs> survivor. survivor. Oh, and the doctor never stops. And he doesn't stop. Always keep running. Thank you. I need a doctor Always to come in handy sometime. <laughs> doctor, I'm still stuck at one point. Okay. So I think I finally got a point. Two, three. All right. So. Okay. So what's the next card? Oh, let's see. All right. okay. We are doing yeah. yellow. Old yellow. The fastest lumberjack. Uh, lumberjack guy. I'm okay. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see. <coughs> Mothra, armed with dynamite. The Pope, <laughs> literally wearing his heart on the sleeve. <laughs> that that is does not seem safe. Does not seem safe for a lumberjack. No, no. no. <laughs> Especially next to the one armed with dynamite. Yeah. <laughs> Beastmaster, min-maxed for melee combat. Ooh, I have a cowboy armed with a machete. Mm. Hmm. So Mothra can fly around and drop dynamite at the trunks and, and blast, and it just falls over. So you have an intact tree trunk. Uh, that's, right, that's, right, that's how explosions work. Not very well. Well, controlled explosive. You have a lot of splinter. Dynamite is not a yeah. controlled explosive. No, no, no. that's right. Okay, okay. okay. No. I'm thinking this Beastmaster here, just because mm -hmm. he can swing an axe. Yeah. Yeah. Nice one. It. And I assume it's kind of the Beastmaster that, like, he doesn't just control beasts, but he also, like, empowers, empowers himself through the power of beasts. I'm picturing so, like, strength. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Max for melee power combat. Bear. Yeah. Max yeah. melee combat is yeah. that's it. That's 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 I got two points now. Okay. That's, uh, All right. All right. Yeah. I do kind of like the yellow ones more, I guess, because, because <coughs> it's not all just a matter of combat, it's a matter of, you know, yes. tactics. Yes. Speaking of yellow, <laughs> uh, the best soldier. Well, there's so much for that, okay. <laughs> I. I just. Mm. Uh, are we going to go joke ones here, or? I really think I need to do this. Uh. <laughs> did, did we get the thing? What is it? Best yeah, soldier. Best soldier. A best soldier. Killer bees with laser eyes. <coughs> there you go. Uh, Hillary Clinton, whose top half is Mike Tyson. <laughs> Both make as sensible an argument as the other. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Picking out an elf, Legolas, riding a war elephant. Mm. The player to your right. Carried by Hodor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Hodor. No offense, okay. but I feel sorry for Hodor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's no 12-year-old no. boy on his back. Nope. 
<laughs> no, nope, nope. Nope, he's not going to get far. Okay. Uh, I think Hodor would collapse immediately under your weight. Hodor is bigger than me. Uh, but I would not be a lightweight. No, 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 and you would okay. not be a very good soldier in that regard. No, no. Uh, but unfortunately, a swarm of killer bees can get through any obstacle I'd, course. I'd say with, with laser, laser eyes, eyes, yeah, they, can they can knock out opponents with pinpoint accuracy. I'd say the the killer bees when have it. Well, wait, obstacle course is this his best soldier? Oh, his best soldier. Well, soldier, yeah. Soldiers have to do those kind of things. Well, soldier trained to become a soldier, soldier but yeah, yeah, killer yeah it's not a matter of destroying the obstacle course. It's a matter of Getting through it. Okay. Next person that's after you has to be able to. I didn't say destroy it. I said I could go right through it. Okay. So, next. So, what's the next card? Okay. Uh, let's go with purple. What do we got here? Uh, fighters are 100 stories tall. Hmm. That doesn't work. <laughs> All right, <coughs> my boss armed with a trident. <laughs> a nudist, literally wearing beer goggles. <laughs> <laughs> a crazy cat lady duplicating one opponent's action. A mad scientist that can read minds. I'd say the guy with the weapon is the one. Who's <laughs> the one? Who's the arm? A hundred foot tall. <laughs> so, I'm going to go with my crazy cat lady. She oh. can also read minds. Mm -hmm. Duplicate one of the opponent's uh, uh, attribute. Uh, yeah. Hmm. So I know what you're going to do with that trident before you do it. And oh, as a mad scientist... Do. Uh huh. I can have like uh, a gadget or a concoction, like a potion or something, because I'm crazy and uh -huh. scientist that can take you out. But while you're trying to do <coughs> that, I can thus throw that cat from Crazy Cat Lady. What I know you're going to do. Go well, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> you said I had that one. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I'll just leave it. Summon cats to do bidding. Yes. That's perfect for the crazy cat lady. <laughs> cool with nudist. I just going to close to him? That depends. A hundred foot tall nudist? Yeah. <laughs> it depends on what their looks are. But literally wearing beer goggles, they're you not going to... You can't gonna see. Yeah, you're not going to no. tell where your enemies are. They're pretty, they're, they're, I'm all going to try those things. That's supposed to make enemies, everybody look good. So you won't know your enemy's the bad guy. Well, I've got enemies here. Everybody looks good. Anyway. Okay. No, literally yeah. wearing beer goggles would be the stuff that makes it look like it's hard to walk. Okay, we'll go with the man's eyes. Yeah. He can read my mind. Gun store. A gun store. <clears throat> hmm. And a movie star, actor, uh, see who, who played the, the rifleman? The rifleman? <laughs> <laughs> At a gun store. But he has tiny T-Rex <laughs> arms. <laughs> right, so small arms dealer. Small arms okay. dealer. <laughs> Mafia Don, armed with a lightsaber. You uh. just took a sword to a gunfight. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Iron Man, riding a nuclear missile. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Spoilers. <laughs> 
Um, a horde of orcs. For the original Avengers film, I think yeah. it's, yeah. yeah. It's just a choke. Dual wielding axes. Uh, I get it. Knife to a gunfight. Well, there are guns yeah. present. It doesn't mean that... But are they proficient? No, they're not having so to they use the guns. So they don't have proficiency bonus. They're not, they're not using the guns. It just happens to be in the gun store. Uh-huh. They can the throw axes. The Mafia can take the lightsaber and cut all the guns in half before people grab them. It's also a horde of orcs. So Nuclear missile. Yes. <laughs> Takes himself out with it. The whole store. Everyone yes. dies. Everyone dies. Okay. Everyone dies. No I think winners. that's pretty fair. No winners. No, no contest. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No contest. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah. Should have been Gaudium. Should have been Gaudium. Oh, yeah. That was a close one. Okay. Who's picking the car? I chose last one. Okay. We're going to do. It's yellow one. I like this. The Game of Thrones. Hmm. Well, okay. Oh, uh, that works. King Arthur! Armed with a bacon wrapped baseball. <laughs> baseball bat. Yeah. Baseball bat, excuse me. Baseball bat. Literally insane clown posse. Controls the weather. Hmm. Okay. I can make it rain and. Storm forever. It'll and just drown out everybody else. Red turtle shells. Red turtle shells. Yeah, I'll target. Ah. Uh, hey, Girl Scout. <laughs> Three of them. <laughs> now, Arya Stark did a lot. Oh. I'm not saying this is Arya Stark. This is just a normal Girl Scout. Yeah, but these are just girls of the same age. And they're prepared. <laughs> How? Man, I've prepared the same way Arya Stark is. She went through way more than any normal Girl Scout. Listen. Arya had her fencing. They have their fencing badge. Uh-huh. That's completely different. <laughs> <laughs> uh, lightning strikes from a literally insane clown posse just take out the Girl Scouts before they do it. Uh, lightning hitting more than once in the same spot. There are three of them. It's not exactly the same spot. Close and they can still control it. <laughs> so and like they it's can't normal, normal it. lightning. Normally, no. But, but they, they have their weather patch. <laughs> so they know to put a lightning rod. They have too. <laughs> mm -hmm. They also have their BS badge, so they can make themselves anything. <laughs> then they can make it a snowstorm, because control weather, and freeze them to death. Survival but they are, badge. they are literally insane, though. So would they have the thought <laughs> process <laughs> in order right. to maximize their damage output? They would change to so many different weather they, outputs. They would tend to be chaotic. So, yeah, yeah. So, Ohio so, weather. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, King Arthur just uh, comes up and whacks him on the head with his bacon wrapped baseball bat. It is a posse. It's going to take a little while for that. Well, yeah. he's fairly fast. King Arthur's a He's a great sword thrower, but he's a sword wielder, but he can wield a bat just as well. With my red turtles, though, I can auto-target them from a distance. Well, thank you for ha taking half of them out. I'm also and going <laughs> to have many allies because of my Girl Scout cookies. Oh, they okay. aren't on the field with you. Cookie pusher. You know sugar is like the most uh, addictive uh, substance around. And they're aware. They're cookie pushers. Yeah. Okay. Those Thin Mints? Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, try having a crate of them in your house. <laughs> Never. Okay. <laughs> I really don't when like the sound that. comes around, you can. Hold it in order for you. Oh, sure you <laughs> sure okay. will. Okay. So, sh should we roll for this yeah. one then? Well, I mean, we're, we're arguing. We're saying, like, like, I know, but everybody's yeah. got a, a, a semi good argument. Let's, All right. Let's roll for it. So, I'm arguing against this. Mm -hmm. I don't know how many you're going to throw before your name. I mean, it says multiple shells, so I suppose I would have a maximum of six, maybe three and three. You at least in the latest Mario Kart eight. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, you can hold two sets of three. Okay. Really? Oh, mm -hmm. Two sets. Wow. So you have an entire posse 
Which we don't know how many. Three girl scouts. <clears throat> a posse, I would say, is at minimum ten feet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Never got Well, and we already established, though, that I would take out at least half the policy. And I would take out the other He would take out. It's bad, apparently. And they like bacon, see? So they'd be starting to crawl over <coughs> each other because they smell like bacon. The weather would be so... Hectic. Insane and hectic nearby them, but you know that wouldn't last very long because they'd be dead shortly, <laughs> or, or at least out, knocked out. Red turtle shells they can go underwater, they can go up in the sky. They you know they they obviously weather does not affect. They only reach the next closest enemy. Yes, and the next. And if there enemy. aren't any, they just hit the wall and stop. Yeah, so I get relatively close to the posse then, but not too well uh, within melee range though. Because they're literally insane. You don't have to get within melee range. They just control the weather around them. So I would argue mm. the <laughs> shells take out maybe half the boss. Mm -hmm. But not all. No. And then you're done. King Arthur might be able to take out some of them. Mm -hmm. But he ain't going to do good in that fight. No. no. Not all of them. Not all of them, no. And yeah. everyone's going to forget about the Girl Scouts so they win. Because <laughs> they're clearly not the threat, and they Hold just want to sell. We both cookies. deal with all the clown posse, and, and we deal with the Girl Scouts steal their cookies. The, the 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 Girl Scouts feed us poison cookies. I knew it. There's I knew this. <laughs> what is this? Well, good thing Awen's on a diet. Yeah, I'm really sorry. You just get the Samoas. This is die of disgustingness <laughs> and the gluten-free things. Ooh. Um, oh. They have those. Are they vegan? Oh, yes, there are. There is a vegan cookie. I don't doubt it. I'll wrap There's them. a market for it. I'm I'll sure. wrap them in bacon. In fact, I think Thin Mints are vegan. They may are be. they made for real vegan? Real vegans. <laughs> so, who wins this? Uh, I, I, I give up with the posse. I kill all I highest out wins at this point. Just roll. Five. 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 Two. Two. Okay, roll you off. and I reroll. Roll off. Two. Six. Six, okay. Hey, I won one. Now I got two. All right. <laughs> it's a miracle. King Arthur out of King randomness. randomness. Got lucky. <laughs> okay. All right. Yes. All right, next card. We'll make it a blue card. On a conveyor belt leading to spinning blades. Hmm. Ooh, a conveyor belt leading to spinning blades. What the heck? Oh my gosh. All right. Well, let's see here. <laughs> I just want to play this. Okay. Because uh, it's too stupid. A moose. <laughs> six inches tall. Six inch tall moose. He, he's real so small he can go through the spinning blades. Your mom. Our mom. <laughs> Stuck in one of those electric cars for toddlers. <laughs> okay. Uh huh. Uh, Jason, I would assume Jason Voorhees, uh, riding a Griffin. Oh, fly. he could fly. He got you. <laughs> killed by water. <laughs> he, he's already dead. He can't be killed by water. He electrifies everything in the water. Yeah. Dust stopping the blades. Saving us all. Thank you, Big uh, I really think. I'm assuming undead Jason? Uh, yeah. Hmm. Went to get all the powers going, yeah. So Jason wins? Jason wins. Huzzah! Mm -hmm. That was three okay. points. Oh. I saw a kill by one. I'm like, yeah, that has to go to Pikachu. Mm. So, like, her? something good for that. That's not good for that. Mm. Okay, did we get a... All right. Oh, let's see, did we get one yet? Nope. No? Okay. Porcupine infestation. Okay. A bionic cheetah. Sandy Cheeks, with no depth of perception. Sandy Cheeks. She's from Spongebob. She's the squirrel with I the did. suit. A squirrel? Yes. 
living underwater with a uh, diving suit. Okay. In a giant like fishbowl. So the <coughs> porcupine por pokes her suit, and she's a no longer paladin. able to live there. Armed with a barbed wire net, <coughs> hmm. I want to find Smite throwing the net on them. Mm. I'm a bionic cheetah. I can just run super fast. Three of them. And being. I'm the Jabberwocky, bionic. armed with the wizard staff. Ooh. Does the Jabberwocky have arms? Uh, probably. Apparently he is. <laughs> I feel like we need to look up the description of the Jabberwocky. Yeah, boy, we got dueling this Jabberwocky. This might last round for me. Yeah. I gotta pick up the kids at 845. The problem with the poem is that it's such a uh, gibberish in it? Yeah. Why do you want to look at that catch. The jaws that bite it calls the catch. So if you have claws. Okay. Yeah. Aha, uh -huh, wizard staff, huh? Okay. So we have a squirrel that can't see the porcupine infestation. Yeah. Hmm. A cheetah that's bionic. Okay. Jabberwock. We could rebuild it. Arms with a wizard staff <coughs> and a paladin. I'm kind of liking Jabberwock in here. Yeah, I give it the Jabberwock. Yep. Okay. And hey, that's it for yeah, the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got okay. four points. Until I next time, out. happy gaming. We're going to stop the stream because it's getting late. It is getting late, but I hope you enjoyed the game and the multiple ways to play it. Well, we'll identical twins will enjoy this because that shoot bees from their mouths. <laughs> okay. If I played this, would I both win and not win? It's shorter to chat. chat. Uh, uh, uh. And I got a Nigerian prince here. Hmm. I saw those. I'm like, I really want to use these somewhere. somewhere. A mermaid draw a new character card with one new attribute as your sidekick. Uh huh. Gladiator. Controls a tween army. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, well, we'll pack this up later. Okay, uh, right. sure you don't need help? No, yeah, we're good. Yeah. Cards, cards, cards. David, outro. Until next time, happy gaming. Bye bye.